Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review episode 331. <clears throat> this we're discussing the newest episode of the series, which is called Entering a New Chapter, Luffy and Savo's Paths, and it's also discussing the newest chapter of the manga, 1103. Now, this particular episode adapted from chapters... It finished up chapter... 1060 that pages 10 to 17 and pages 2 and 3 of chapter 1061. Yep, so we started with a brand new opening tile sequence, and it's one of the most strangest ones. It's called Us, where like <laughs> it is so weird, like. You think watching this, it's like, oh, let's just. And this is quite interesting. It's like, oh, you watch this opening sequence. Is this new? Is this a new animation style? Not really. It kind of is, but not really. Still, the regular animation they've had for, for, for a while. If I get to the episode itself and we see some characters' faces have been altered. Um, Luffy as Luffy is more shiny than it was before. Yes, he's more lighter in convection than he was previously. They altered his face, Usep, Chopper, and I think that and Nami. They're the ones who altered Robin, Jinbei, Frankie, and Brooke. Remain roughly the same. You think okay? What about Sanji? Sanji remained the same too. So did Zoro. So, I should first start with Sabo. It's like, okay, they get a call where he's calling the Kugaba Kingdom, where he basically is telling, he first he tells Dragon he did not murder King Cobra at all. And he did, he, he mentions that he saw, he mentions where he is, the the Kugaba Kingdom. Kugaba Kingdom, which they apparently explains that Wrath, the Reverie, the, the country, the, the citizens uh, revolted against. Well, their king and, and their prince, princess, and they present them. So that's where kind of where he is. Then he explains over the intercom, where he saw something in the Baruga Palace, where he mentions that the empty throne. Ha he's about to, he was about to mention that the empty throne has an occupant, and it's basically showing this episode that the. That the Navy's overhearing this, and the five older idiots are basically overhearing this. And one of them says, cut the wiretap. You did not hear a wiretap at all. We're going to pretend this never happened. And then, Imp makes a return to the series. First time since the Reverie arc. In his third appearance in five years. Where he just shakes... And then something bizarre happened. This is completely anime original, by the way. Where this island... Now, in the manga, they don't show what happens here. It's just like, show the aftermath. Here, it's like... It appears, though... Some device... Has fired a bunch of lasers on this island. And pretty much destroyed the entire island. And killing... Implied to killing all the occupants. I'm not gonna what happened after this, but damn. I at least got I got at least gotta praise Oda for basically having it where like he probably expected this happen because he probably didn't have time, probably couldn't exactly visualize how destruction I would happen, but it's like this whole sequence takes up a good four minutes of the episode. And the call gets cut off there. So and that's it for Sapo for the episode. Meanwhile though, Luffy's like Oh, that's your dream. Like, hey, and we're cheering about it. And then, like, then it turns into cold weather. Probably because of what happened to Island. And, like, everyone's, like, freezing cold. Except for Zoro, who's got a coat open. Luffy, of course, is wearing a coat, but not wearing any pants. He's still wearing his shorts. Isn't he because he's made of rubber? Basically thinks he's, he's, he's immune to the cold. So then they see, like... Luffy sees him a distance while everybody's like trying to battle with this whole thing. And they, they see what Nami describes. And of course, Luffy sees it first. He has Nami what, what that is. And Nami describes it as a, as a warm eddy. 
And then, of course, you have Sanji hearing somebody inside of the thing, hearing out woman scream. And, of course, they see a silhouette of somebody. And then Zoro walks up to the damn thing, slices the Eddie in half. And, of course, Chopper comes outside with his new hat that Otama made for him. He flies away, though Luffy catches him and catches the person inside of it. It's Jury Bunny! First time she's appeared since, well, <laughs> since the events of Reverie. And she she's caught by Luffy. But before we continue here, there's a brief scene with Boss Morgans. The 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 editor, uh, the owner and the owner the the owner publisher and editor of the World Economic Journal. He reports exactly kind of what happened, what the public knows about what happened. Like Ken Cobra has been, has been killed supposedly by Sabo, Princess Vivi disappeared. Though this is contradicted a few chapters later in the manga. But this definitely was a really good episode. And the way it looks for next week. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. We're going to see the anime debut of the Vegapunks. What do you mean by that? Well, you find out when it comes to next week. Alright, so. We have the newest chapter of the manga with this wonderful two-page spread done by Oda. Which has straw hats with Yamato on the cover. It's almost like it was Mosaic keeping her in Wano, so. So, chapter's called, I'm Sorry Daddy. Then we have a flashback of where Bonnie's talking to Vegapunk. It's like, Bonnie, did you see everything? I did. Yeah, pretty much the flashback is over. Oh, drat, broke my promise to Kuma. And she hugs him. I, I'm sorry, Vegapunk. Who is it? What is it? It's a present for you for your 10th birthday. Cool with me. For dad from daddy? Yay! What a beautiful surprise. Nickel Sapphire. Here's your forever. It looks out for you. Indeed. Two years ago, imagine bo- that boy turning this. Straw he- so Strawhead's the son of daddy's friend? Yep. I was shocked when I saw the first two together. So yeah, Vegapunk knows that Dragon is Luffy's father. So the people who know this is... Aside from Dragon himself, obviously, is the Straw Hats. Uh, <laughs> basically, um, the Emperor uh, Ikarov. He, he he knows too. Basically, Luffy told him. And of course, it was like what? <laughs> yep. So it's a really wonderful scene. And then we come back to present day, where Saturn basically is holding her. And it was like Foo was like. I want to. Like, wait, why can't I move? Gotta make a buy card, suck a room. Funny. And Dragon basically is probably probably hearing about this. Yeah, Kuma ran off. And then, of course, we have where. Apparently, Bonnie can do Nika like stuff, like Simba Luffy does. Weaker. You're his daughter. Yeah, apparently, it was like experiments. And then apparently it's like, such a shame. And then apparently we see Luffy eating food. And, and Santa's like, who, who, hey, who gave him food? Put pre season on at once. See what's coming up, huh? Yep, season no. I can't use my HAG powers in this old guy. How come? Give me your power, Bonnie. It was an experiment to see if infants capable of eating solid fruit, even given power. Yeah. Who like does? <laughs> oh, but and apparently the whole thing with the deal that was a ploy for all this. They, he reveals that that a lot of this stuff related to what happened to Bonnie was all his fault. And then Kuma arrives on Egghead. Yes, Kuma, who's an who's a basically a mindless android now. And it's like crying and seeing her. He, he's here. So and of course he was like he basically sends him away. And of course he stops Saturn from stabbing his daughter. And of course Bonnie's from there with him. 
Like, it's Brother Magumo. And then the chapter ends with him grabbing St. Tanger's spider leg because he's a spider person. And then the chapter ends with look like he's about to punch him. Like he's freaking sights him for one punch man. And they're like, oh no. <laughs> Damn. What an awesome chapter. Love it. 10 out of 10. Okay, so. Me. Uh, that's it of you. Next up is going to be a comic corner. Take a little break and then basically work on Spike's family. Okay, next video. Bye.